Alright, so I need to kill... Wait, I need to take... First off, I need to take this off, because it's getting on my nerves. Alright. Need to kill six of these. And before you say it, no, I am not a clicker. It's just... It's just those that I click. Oh, I've got more than that, sweetheart. See? Vial of Spectre Essence. Shiny! Oh my god, another shiny. But yeah, they, uh... Big time into the old hate thing. In original EverQuest, you could actually kill an Earth. Obviously, they've kind of retconned that. And the Earth is still quite alive. I don't know what the current storyline is, though, for EverQuest 2. I know originally the gods had left and all that. Lucklin had exploded. In fact, where is Lucklin? I can't see it. But yeah, Lucklin was one of the moon well well actually yes, one of the moons. There was two, I believe. And there was an expansion which sent you to the moon where there was moon cats. Yes, moon cats. And um Oh, here we go. Oh yeah. Wellspring bracelet. Two agility. Two, yeah. Why not? Yeah. Again, I'm just mostly wearing that stuff just for the hell of it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm like a reptilian Bruce Lee. Oh, uh, you also get XP for. Discovering places, you get AAXP, alternate advancement. I'll talk more about alternate advancement later on. I'm trying to think if I want to do a separate video for that or not. But, alright, where is the... Oh, I can just click it. Cool. Is that going to cause anything to happen? Or... Alas, Quadrajita has died from pain and suffering. You have slain the Thexians responsible for... Uh, uh, see, now that one's hostile, because it's got the red border. So now, I just need to follow this road... ...to the outpost, whose name I cannot remember. And there's a harvest level over here. Yeah, and as you play, there are tons of these harvestables. And your backpack will quickly fill with them. But there's a quest that quest giver gave me a quest to actually grab them up. So. All the more reason to get them. Gotcha. Oh yeah, XR monks, baby. But yeah, that's kind of the other reason I didn't play an XR monk. If you're wondering, back in EQ1, I was a dark elf enchanter. But um, XR monk is kind of one of the classic combos. Yes, we've had to deal with much here, so if I seem eager to speak with you, that is why. Sadadadada has sent me from Hate's Envy. I've just stopped a Thexian Desecrator from completing a ritual at the Wellspring of Nightmares. Of course, we appreciate this. Anything we can do to keep the Thexians out of the woods is helpful. I'm glad you've arrived. Why is that? Laexria is in charge of Dreadguard here in the Darklight Wood. She's been moving forces deeper in the wood and will continue to do so until we control this land as cleanly as we do the city of Nereak itself. Are you willing to assist? I am. 
That is good to hear, Verifist. I would like your help with the undead that infest this camp. Where have they come from? Their mamas. This was once the site of a very large battle. Though ages old, new corpses are beginning to resurface and attack. I suspect none other than the Thexians to be behind the plot. The cowards would rather have the dead attack us than face us in open battle. These corpses, who were they? The fallen rangers and stout cadavers are the corpses of the halfling armies and their allies who attacked Neriak long ago. Ah, a only good halfling is a dead halfling. Or an undead halfling, I guess, is half okay. Now an undeath, they seek to fulfill their mission once more. You must put them down at once very well. Well met. Verifist, it's about time you reported to me. Reported to you? I am Laexra Blazade, commander of the Dreadguard, forces in the Dark Like Wood. You have dedicated yourself to the City of Hate and Queen Cristanos, have you not? I have. Good. Neriak requires true statesmen and women who will do all they can to further their city. Excuse me. In my case, I am here in Dark Light battling the forces, natural or otherwise, that threaten our city and her throne. What is the current threat? The never-ending tide of undead. New corpses climb from the ground every day. Those that would kill do not stay dead. Those that we kill do not stay dead for long. I believe with a little work, we can at least keep those we kill from coming back, but nothing is certain. What is the plan? Search the fields to our south. The halflings and elf rangers who die there brought many things into our forest, including small tokens meant to remind them of home, to remind them of what they are fighting for. Collect some of these for me. I can do that. Well met. Greetings, I'm Ilmatar Devaris, quartermaster for the Dreadguard. Ever since the recent Thexian attacks on Hate's Envy, I've been on my wit's end finding adequate supplies for those stationed here at Devartar Outpost. My chief responsibility is supplying general goods or paying others to find them for me. Others like myself? Precisely. Would you happen to be looking for work? Sure. I thought so. Currently, I'm collecting bone fragments for the Necromancers for use, at, for use as reagents for their reanimate, reanimating spells. This field we're in is home to a great number of, de of undead, with fresh numbers raising, rising daily. They're a perfect source for the bone fragments I'm after. So if you're still willing to help, I'll collect the bone ships. And you get a nice six slot pouch, which in this game is very good. You need bags badly in this game. Well, Matt. Vertifist, I've heard the guard speaking of you. They have been quite impressed by your feats. You've heard the guard speaking of me? Indeed I have. It has impressed me as well. Such skills could be put to work around here. For once some coin and we have a deal. Certainly. I am responsible for enduring the Dread Guard, ensuring the Dread Guard remain an unequaled fighting force and are prepared for an eventual march on the Thexian invaders. They slay all armies, must be bred, fed, and led. Well, I've got the last two categories covered. Where do I come in? I've tuned my attention to the local fauna of this forest to expand our fighting regiments. Imagine a full platoon of Dread Guard Dragoons charging their enemies and top fearsome bears. That would be impressive. For this plan to come to fruition, we must capture several cubs and domesticate them at an early age before they, their savage nature makes them untamable. I want you to find some cubs and bring them back to me. All right. Sounds only mildly effed up. We're doing this. Ah, yeah. yeah. I'm like Afro Samurai, except I don't have any hair. Ooh, Crescent Strike. It flakes 21 and 35 magic damage on targets in an area. Oh, also, some classes get uh, certain visions. I get Aqua Vision. Heal my eyes. With that Aqua Vision, doesn't need to do anything. I'm just going to take it off my bar. And let's see. Let them split up there. Alright. Boom. Oh, wow! Yeah, you 
like that AE, didn't you? Oh, hello. Welcome back. Welcome back, Cotter. Now die. Re die. Only thing more fun than killing a ranged halfling is re killing a halfling. A soldier's tree. But yeah, one thing you're going to find with uh, EQ2 is that you actually tend to out-level areas very quickly. I actually found myself... Uh, last time I played, you didn't have the option of... Switching XP to AA. You can only like turn it off, if I remember correctly. But in this game, you can actually say, like, I want 50% of my XP to go to AA XP, which is a great change. Because, uh, like I say, I actually found myself kind of annoyed because I was like, well, I, wa I want to stay here. And I was ended up doing quests that were gray. In other words, they weren't giving me any XP. I was doing gray quests because I wanted to... I just wanted to do the quests because they, I was enjoying doing them. And I just enjoyed doing the quest lines and all that. Well, that quest is done. And you see I keep uh, doing that to start off the heroic opportunity. But right now my options are limited. I can do this and then that. I guess I should have pointed that out. And each each one of those is different. It has different abilities. Like I think some will put a dot on, some might heal you, some might root. Most of them, I think, just do drag damage, though. It's kind of hard to tell with as fast-paced as everything is. Oh, yeah. Chop that wood. Chop it. Chop the hell out of it. But, yeah, I'm trying to remember all the gathering skills. There's foresting. There's mining. There's this one, which is the creature den. I can't remember what it's called. Uh, trapping. There's fishing. Fishing is a real pain in the butt to keep up because you have to obviously do it at water, duh, and it has to be done at certain pools. So you kind of have to run along water edges a lot to keep it up to date. As opposed to everything else, if as long as you continually click on these things, it's pretty damn easy to keep up with it. All right, so what am I doing with these? How do I do the bears? Uh, let's see. Do I kill them, or...? I wasn't really... Let's try beating the hell out of it. pretty impressive. Ah, we got really lucky here. So the bear dropped Adapt 2 of Waking Dragon, which just happens to be one of my skills. And Waking Dragon is one of my abilities that I use all the time. And it's Adept, which, as you can see, it does, as opposed to 11-18 damage, it does 14-24, to 24, a significant damage increase. So I just right click it, inscribe it, and learn it, and now I'm doing a decent amount more damage. So you can see, going up a bit more, the damage would 
definitely increase if it was like master. I think master is two or three higher than that. So yeah. Ooh. Uh, so how do I grab the bears? Uh, has actually like, traveled west for a new and capture several wasps, so they might be domesticated, turn into fighting beasts and mounts. So how do I capture them? Oh wait. Ah. Sorry about killing your buddy. Uh, what? Oh. I think I had to equip it. Oops. Use? There we go. Haha. <laughs> Yay, I got a bear. Hey, bear, watch this. Bam! But yeah, at low levels, it's not really worth it to buy the higher level spells. Because you, well, level so fast. But as you level, it's absolutely worthwhile to keep up to date on your spells. Because they make a huge difference in your leveling. And as you can see, you can get them from when they drop, but that was just very, very, very lucky. Obviously, too, you, those are tradable, so you can just sell them or, you know, trade them with other people, but generally you're just going to sell them and then take that money and buy your versions on the, the broker. Oh, uh, what else? Just random things. Uh, let's see. Quest, li quest log limit. You can have a lot of quests. You can see I have. I can have 69 more quests. So needless to say, it would be quite difficult to hit your limit. Even though I'm sure some people do, and they probably complain about it. We need more quests. Quest space. Even though there's like 75 or whatever there is. Oh jeez, come on. Unfortunately, given how old this game is, the engine is not efficient. Again, I don't know if you can really tell. But it doesn't run that well. And I've got a pretty beastly machine. And I was... Right now, I'm getting like 20 frames per second. Granted, I've got fraps running, so it's not running as well as it could be, but it definitely shouldn't be running at 20 frames per second, not 10 like it's getting now. You know, I just thought, I wonder if I could have used that leash on all three bears at once. I kind of assumed I would have to bring them back one at a time. Good, they'll be back in short order, unfortunately. Your efforts, however, should cause them to cease annoying us for the time being. Is there a way to get rid of them permanently? I believe Lixari is looking into that matter. However, before you run along and help her, I need your assistance in dealing with a few deserters. Hello. Hello. New recruits looking for a fast track into Nariak often disappear. I had one leave just yesterday. I'm having trouble finding someone to replace it. I could help again. Indeed you could, Vernifist. I doubt Soltrin is coming back anytime soon. I had him collecting scraps of armor from the smoldering soldiers found north from here. Jargos claims he can forge the pieces of the new armor plates. Bring me several pieces and you'll be rewarded. Well met. Have you collected the trinkets? Excellent. It will take some time to repair them for their purpose, however. In the meantime, the undead must be cold. Are you willing? I am willing. Good. North of here, walk the undead walk the undead remains of our tier doll soldiers now being used against us. Kill the defenders and soldiers, though. We may have some respite. 
So it looks like we gotta kill some of the higher level ones. Bring me the cubs, and I, then we'll talk about payment. I have a bear cub. Nice work. Okay, yeah, it looks like I do have to bring them one at a time. Alright, that's fine. Bitch. You don't want none. I do how, like, um, you can see those undead spawning into the world by crawling up out of the ground. That's pretty awesome. Damn it. Is it? I'm starting to get some lag. Which is kind of weird because it's like 2.30 in the morning. Ah, there's the, there's the soldiers. I'm actually probably going to finish doing yeah. the spare quest and then head to bed. Bring me the cubs and... Nice. Yes, I know. Yeah. 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 Dead killer. Took down your achievement. Slay 25 undead. I think you can get stuff from achievements. Um, I don't think it's anything game changing. Titles. Um, stuff for your house. Things like that. Not 100% sure on that though. Sprint so we can finish this up. Frame rate dropping into the toilet. Bring me the cubs. Nice work. Cubs. That it is. Very nice. I do believe our partnership will work out fine. Do you wish to continue working? As an opportunist, I am always seeking new methods for disposing of our enemies. In recent months, I believe I've discovered a new way to address the constant threat of undead corpses who stalk these woods. What's that? I found a particular mushroom which, when grounded to a fine powder, causes a topical paralysis on undead test subjects. I'm close to perfecting this mixture. However, I've run out of stun spore mushroom caps. Would you be willing to harvest some more for me? Where should I look for these mushrooms? You should be able to find the sun spore mu stun spore mushrooms due west from this outpost. Be careful, a colony of bats has taken a liking to the area. I'll take my chances. Okay, alright, well, hope you've enjoyed this. I'll be back to continue doing the quests, and we'll go from there. Again, if you have questions, comments, requests, please leave them in the comments fields or just PM me, and I shall see you next time.